project that Nagore has been the most deeply thought through. Um, and for this, great credit goes to my uh, colleagues David Park and Sharon Cather, who were really the leaders and the leaders of the Department of Orchid and Conservation at the Court Hill. They set it up, they continued, they developed it in an inspirational way. It has always been their intention and ours to engage with the larger training and education. A wonderful turning point came with the generosity of the Leon Levy Foundation when we were able to formalize this in a further level and create uh, an annual training program to teach the fundamentals of conservation of uh, scientific methodologies and uh, res the research, the whole approach to research which underlies all serious projects. I think this course, if I have to define it, I would start with saying it is probably one of the most best structured course of just six weeks, but still it gives you a sense of such holistic teach, no matter what field. It could be wall painting, it could be textile, but what they teach is so relevant to every single field of conservation. I didn't realize how intense and the amount of things that we would learn during the course. On one hand, we were doing courses that involved biology. On the other hand, we were doing chemistry courses. And then the other, we were looking at multispectral imaging. So we were looking at physics again. So, oh, one of the downsides about working in conservation uh, in India is that it's almost, sometimes it feels disconnected from the bigger whole, from the international conservation community. So one of the biggest upsides of this is the, the way and the number of people we're interacting with from different regions in India because of the participants, and of course different regions of the world because of the instructors, because this network is slowly going to build. Uh, it's changed the way my, I've looked at my ongoing projects uh, okay. in my architectural conservation work. The course opened up my thinking and my knowledge, uh, sensibilities that are tuned towards more towards conservation and not towards replacement. If you look at the Indian conservation scenario, we got actually only one professional course that teaches conservation. Uh, and as, as a program manager, I mean, you know, every year, I mean, I myself keep on learning, you know, because the field keep on advancing. And we have at least uh, six, five to six candidates from INDAC alone training here. How to collaborate and go, go further is, I think, one of the main uh, idea of the program and success of the program. Last year, uh, we even had right. tough time, you know, uh, having the first screening selecting. and selecting the people because they were too good. I've been able to apply most of the courses which I studied during LLFCC to my work. In India, we have so many wall paintings, but sadly, we don't have matching expertise. I think it's been a quite unique uh, situation and, and partnership between different founders, different people, different mm -hmm. situations that is certainly um, going to help into the conservation of cultural heritage in India and elsewhere. Mm. India is actually training the colleagues from India, it's actually giving the opportunities of the participants to come back. Uh, was a real need for better conservation education. Um, not only from the training of the conservatives who are working with, but then also talking with them and talking with them about their frustrations and feeling that they, they felt very limited in what they knew. And many were questioning mm -hmm. what they'd been taught and the participants talking about how, what an incredible learning experience they had. People have been feeling competitive about coming into the program. It's a program that people want to be a part of. They're start, they're, they see that we're providing the education and the knowledge and the skills that are valuable to them. The aim was to create a center of conservation excellence. Another mm -hmm. success, I think, is about having former participants working with us in the conservation program, mm -hmm. in contributing yes, to the conservation program. Um, Akila, for example, who's a very successful architect in her own right, has been working with us and giving us advice on some of the architectural problems. And then we've also had three participants come through the LLF program and apply successfully to the Conservation of Wall Paintings program. Teaching is 
very intensive and we focus on the small groups so that we can give appropriate supervision. They're mm -hmm. learning brand new concepts, brand new piece of equipment, brand new softwares. I'm hugely impressed by the quality and calibre of the, the participants. The aim is to, is to create a very open atmosphere, an atmosphere of inquiry, of curiosity, of challenge, of, of determination to follow something through, to take on the research and uh, to push, for each student to push his or her own, um, as were, well, own capability yet further, to share skills with each other. That's extremely exciting and that's, that's a culture of learning that we have very much at the Courtauld. So it's lovely to see it um, beautifully demonstrated. Uh, we really, really profoundly hope that this course, uh, which is now in only for five years, that it will continue uh, for a considerably longer period of time. This is still the germ of yet more significant developments in the future.